Hi guys, it's Suzanne HB, Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on someone else's design. It's a variation of one of mine. Um, this is done by Jazzy's Looms. I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that right, but that's how I think it is because it's Jasmine, so I'm assuming it's Jazzy. Um, she's, as she said, from Germany on here. And she's done one which we've called Peaceful Heart, and it's based on my Peace Prayer bracelet so it's a variation of that one. She's done a very pretty pastel one here. Um, it's a very simple design but it looks really really cute so let's get on with seeing how we go. Check out her account it's very pretty. Uh, lots of cute stuff on there. Whoops. Lots of cute stuff on there. Very nicely presented account so go check her out on Instagram. Alrighty so Today I'm going to use uh, colours which aren't necessarily designed for beauty but more for contrast so that you can easily see what I'm doing here. So I've got blue, uh, that one's the, well, these are all 600 band packs. I think that one is the uh, navy, the Egyptian or Persian, one of the ones with got gold on the outside. We've got sweet screen. Is it sun kissed, which I think is also like an Egyptian or Persian, and the sweets pink. So it, it just provides a good contrast, so you can see what I'm doing. It looks okay, but you know I'm sure you'll come up with prettier options. Okay, so let's get started. Start as usual for our hook designs. And do a cat band, so just twist a figure eight onto there, and then you get two contrasting colors. So I'm going to use the green and the yellow, and making sure you keep one on top of the other, you can pull that through or pull the cat band over, whichever way you prefer. So keep the same color on the inside and the same color on the outside because you are going to use them separately. Alrighty, next thing we're going to do is grab a colour that's going to go through both of those. Okay. Now we're going to pick up this inside colour again on the hook. Like so, making sure it doesn't cross back over this one. Give yourself plenty of room. And re-hook that. Okay, so that should what it should look like. So you've pulled it through both and then you've re-hooked that yellow one in my case so the orangey one back onto there. Now you're going to simply lift this third band on there over the top of the hook to create a slip knot, but it's slip knotting over like that. Okie doke. I'm going to turn that round and do that process again. So when you're turning around, just simply pinch so that those loops don't come off. Turn your hook upside down, pull it through, turn it around and hook it back on again. Alrighty. Probably should have used a different band to start. Anyway, you'll get the idea. The next side is going to be exactly the same. We want to pull it through both of those left hand bands. Give yourself a little bit of room on this so that you can go back and pick up that yellow on the inside. So whatever your inside color is gets picked up and then hook back on the one that you're looping through. Then you can either grab both of those left hand ones and loop them under like that, which is how I would do it, but I do crochet sort of stuff. Or you can grab that third band as we did before and simply lift that over the top to create your slip knot. Okay, so now you've got it both the same. Sorry, the same on both sides. I can grab which one's my cat band. There we go. So it's the same on both sides now. We're going to get a pink one and put it through the center ones. Again, you've got a couple of options on the way you do this. You can either not remove anything, pull it through the first three, like that, and grab a hold, go over the top of the ones you're catching, 
and go through the center of the pink and just pinch this left blue one so that it doesn't come off and slide the pink one through like that. Now that is how I do it because I find that fast. However, we'll also show you, oops, if I can get this back on in the right order, there we go. I'll also show you what I call Jace's method because I first saw it on his uh, tutorials. What you do is you grab the band that you're about to slip through, put it next to the band that you don't want it to go under. Pull them both up, like hold them both together. Slide it through the two you do want it to go under. Sorry, my focus is going off. And then reattach both of those. So you get the same effect. Oops. And my cat band just doesn't want to play ball. Sometimes it's easier uh, just to put a C clip on your cat band and then it doesn't give you all these silly problems. It's not a problem when you're making it, just when you're trying to demonstrate it. Okay, so that is pretty much the entire pattern. Now these side parts can be lifted. They can come all the way down like it is now. They can sit up higher like this on either side. So you can really do what you like with those. You can play around with them and position them where you want them. So they can go up, they can go down. Alright, so we'll start the pattern again. So we'll grab those two bands we started with, in my case the green and the orangey yellow putting the same one on top, unless you want to alternate, in which case you know you can swap it around, but if you want to be consistent, put the same band on top, pull it through and reattach, grab the band colour that you want to be the uh, slip knotted band on the side there, in my case it's the blue, with the gold, pull it through both, back through the yellow, the inside band, Reattach that and take this band, which is the third band from the hook, over the top to form the slip knot. Give it a pinch, turn. I apologize if my focus is going out, it doesn't want to behave itself. Oh, so this is, as all things, much easier to do than to demonstrate. Okay, let's so get that turned around. I'm going to do the, exactly the same to the other side. Pull it through both. Pick up that yellow band again. You can, of course, if you're depending on what you're more comfortable with, you can pick that band up and put it over the top. But I find it's easier just to slip that back under like that. Lift it over. Grab the third band from the hook. And create that slip knot. We'll grab our pink band, we'll use Jace's method because I think that's probably the easiest for people who don't like, aren't those familiar with hook only. So we'll pinch those together, grab the band and pull it through those two middle ones, reattach both of those and you've finished another completed set. And there's your slip knots that you can play around with. They can be up they can be down. This is the look that Jazzy was going for and um, my original piece prayer has as well. Alright, so I'll do one more time and then if you get stuck you can always go back to the ones where I've demonstrated before. Okay, so pull two through all the bands on your hook and reattach, making sure you've got the same colour on the inside and the outside like that, grabbing your slip knot band, pulling it through both, picking up, I usually hang on to that one like that, picking up that inside band, pulling through, taking the third band and making that slip knot. Flipping it around, just 
see if I can do this without letting it all fall apart this time. There we go, turning it around, sliding back on. You can do that with a, either a double-ended hook or you can slide a ho another hook through there and then uh, just turn that other hook around once you've got them attached. Um, but it's it's not that many bands, so it's not as difficult as I'm making it look to turn the bands around. Okay, so slide another one of your slip knot bands through. Oops. Pick up that inside band. I'm just making this look difficult, aren't I? Okay, let's try that again. Sliding it through. Just put the other to focus. There we go. Once you've got that slid through, you could actually hang onto that green one as well with the fingers that you're holding the blue one. Kind of separates them out and makes it easier to grab a hold of that yellow one. Let the green one go because we don't want that one back on there. Loop that up, making sure that we've got it through the green one and the yellow one, and then it's out the other side of the yellow. Grab that third band. And hook it over the top to form your slip knot. Actually, these colours don't look so bad together. And then we go back to our pink, which is the last step. We grab the pink band together with the left hand band, pull that pink band through those middle bands, readapt the middle band. The slip knotted band, and you have finished another section. Alrighty, I hope this is nice and clear. Um, if you're not quite sure yet, or you want to do, to to loom along, please rewind, um, let's get back and check out what I've done. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Um, check out my account on Instagram, Crazy Just Might Work, and uh, check out some of my other tutorials on my channel. Um, I've got lots of interesting ones you probably haven't even seen because I did them a while ago. Give uh, Jazzy's Looms a uh, check out so that uh, you can have a look at her lovely account. Give her a follow if you like her. Ditto for me and um, yeah, love to see your renditions of this lovely peaceful heart bracelet. So thank you to Jazzy's Looms uh, for letting me do this tutorial for her and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay, catch you later. Bye.